but sexual recreation was rampant in the city to the point that gay crowds roamed the streets demanding sexual relations with every stranger who visited the town. That is demonic. Yeah, it is. That is demonic. For Satan roars, prowls around, seeking who he may, who devour. He may devour. If that ain't Satan, I don't know what Tim is. Boy. So in Sodom and Sodom, they lived a homosexual life, but they didn't just live a homosexual life. They were straight predators like these guys that we just read about. Mm. That's the spirit of the devil. And it is pride, which is a moral what? Weakness that tries to manifest itself like it is a strength. That ability to lure somebody in, trying to act like they're strong. But what is it? A moral what? Weakness. Okay? So every every visitor that visited the town, they went after. So great was the need for God's judgment to be discussed it with Abraham first. Isn't that a privilege? Let's talk about the good part of that. Isn't that a privilege for God to want to consult you about something he's getting ready to do? We are not that worthy. We're not that worthy. He wants to talk to you about something good he's giving. Ooh, that's good. But you're not going to be able to hear him if you're not here in Present. church. Present. You're not going to be able to hear him if you're not praying. You're not going to be able to hear him if you're not reading your Bible. You might read it, may not understand it, but let me tell you something about your effort to getting to know your God better. Your effort decreases the, the chances of pride to come into your life. Oh, glory. Your effort increases your strength in God. God, I might not understand this scripture, but I'm going to determine to read it until you show me. Even if you don't start understanding until you come in church, you're like, oh, that's what that meant. But you're not going to have no old moment if you want to read it, right? Amen. Right? Amen. It's all a setup for you to become the player that God wants you to be. For you to be in a position that God wants you to be in. All them years of hitting. All them years of digging, playing the back row. All them years of spiking the ball was a setup for me to learn how to be the leader of the team. I don't play the position that gets the ball to the center. I don't play the position that gets the ball from the center. Now God had me play all those positions for a reason so I can really understand what the center needs. Has I not dug up the ball, I would have known how important it was to get a pass to the... Oh, that's good. I would have known the importance of being the leader if I had not been the follower. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have known the importance. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have known the importance of being a leader if I hadn't swept the floor. I remember when I went to New Life. I remember when the church is being built and, and they didn't have a lot of people to come in. I remember laying a towel down in the bathroom. Man. Did I have all pleasant experience? What church you go to where you had 100% pleasant experience? It gonna always be something. We all human beings. Everybody going, somebody gonna do something. That's just the way life rolls. But it's the way that you take these things and not let pride, which is a moral Weakness. Weakness get in the way of you learning the ultimate lesson that God has set up for you for you to become the what leader that God has called you to be. The laying the towels is important, so I had no problem coming here sweeping our own floor for an hour and a half. You have to understand, understand the importance of where you are now. Understand the importance of reading your word now. If you're understanding that 10, it ain't going to be hard for you to understand that 20 when you're in college. Amen. And you're struggling. You ain't got nobody around you in a whole different state, a whole different city. There ain't nobody believing nothing to know Jesus. Hmm. But if you apply it now, it's gonna, it ain't going to be hard. I'm telling you what I know. It ain't going to be hard for you not to go to the college parties if you do it now. I was serious about God when I was growing up. Even if I was just churching, you know, you grow up doing what you've been taught. So when I went to college, did I go to a few parties? Yes. But was it hard for me to stay home? No. Because I wasn't really about that life. I really love God. 
So I believe that what you guys are learning now, become interested in the word of God, become interested in church. I think you guys are very interested in church, which is a wonderful thing. But you got to be more than interested in church. You got to be interested in God. So when it's your turn to leave, you won't mislead the people of God. Because when you go to these campuses, even at school tomorrow, you're still leading people. You're going to act a fool and make everybody else clown with you? Or are you going to be a good student? That's right. You're going to be a good student, right? A good student. Be a good student of the word. Um, that's it for tonight. So let me fold, let me fold right here. That's what we're gonna pick up. Last night took us how many weeks to get to that season, but it was good.